Hello friend this is Sunil Sharma here from Speed Math and I'm back again with another great trick of Speed Math. In this video we are going to learn how to subtract any number from 100, 1000 and so on under 3 seconds. Do subscribe for my channel for all the latest updates without any further ado let's begin. Let's understand how to subtract fast from 100, 1000, 10000 and so on under 3 seconds. Let's take an example. Let's say if you want to subtract 358 from 1000 So there are two conditions. First of all, the number of zeros should be equal to the number of digits in the number which we are going to subtract. If you see here, we have three zeros and the number which we need to subtract has three digits. So this technique will work only if the number of zeros is equal to number of the digits in the number which we are going to subtract. And the rule what we are going to use to subtract is very simple. All from nine and last from ten. I repeat again all from 9 and last from 10 what it means is whatever number we are supposed to subtract from 1000 we are going to subtract each digit all from 9 but the last one from 10 so tell me what is 9 minus 3 it's 6 9 minus 5 4 10 minus 8 2 so there you go you have the answer 6 4 2 so easy isn't it Let me take one more example. Let's say we want to subtract 469 from 1000. So the rule is same, all from 9 but last from 10. So I'm going to subtract the first two digits from 9 and the last from 10. So it's very easy. 9 minus 4 is going to be 5. 9 minus 6 is going to be 3. 10 minus 9 is going to be 1. I hope you have understood this method. Let me take one more example. Let's say if you want to subtract 27 from 1000. Observe the number of zeros is 3 but the number of digit is 2. And I mentioned earlier that the number of zeros should be equal to number of digits. So what we are going to do here one digit is less so we can add a zero before that number to make the number of digits equal. So if you see we have three zeros and we have three digits now, right? So methodology is same. We are going to subtract all from nine, but last from ten. So nine minus zero is nine. Nine minus two is seven, and ten minus seven is three. I hope you have understood. Let me take one more example wherein we need to subtract some numbers from hundred. So suppose we need to subtract forty-six from hundred. So how do we do that? Methodology is same. Rule number one: number of zeros should be equal to number of digits, and it is equal, right? So all from nine and last from ten. So we need to subtract four from nine and six from ten. So nine minus four is going to be five, and ten minus six is going to be four. There you have the answer. So easy. Let me take one more example. Let's say this time we need to subtract seventy-eight from hundred. We are going to check the number of zeros is equal to number of digit. Yes, it is. So we need to subtract all from nine and last from ten. So nine minus seven will give you two. Ten minus eight will give you two. Right. So twenty-two is the answer. Let me take one more example where we need to subtract eight from hundred. Now, if you observe, the number of zeros is two, and the number of digit is one. So we'll make it equal by just adding a zero before that number, right? Now, all from nine and last from ten. So nine minus zero will give you nine, and ten minus eight will give you two. There you go. You have the answer. Let me take one more example. Let's say we need to subtract hundred minus six. Again, the number of zeros is not equal to number of digits. So we are going to put a zero, right? Now, all from nine and last from ten. So nine minus zero will give you nine, and ten minus six will give you four. So there you have the answer. So if you have understood this, I would encourage you to solve these eight questions. Take two minutes and solve this.
I hope you are solving and you are getting it. If not, you can rewind the video and check it out. Thirty seconds left. Ten seconds. So here are the answer, check it for yourself. I hope you have understood. I hope you have enjoyed learning this technique with me. I will be back with another video. Do follow me on YouTube channel and do subscribe me. Hit the notification button, hit the like button if you have liked this video and do follow me on Instagram at Sunil Sharma underscore speedmath. I will be back again with another such great video. Thank you for listening to me. Peace.